Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome back to another phenomenal episode of the Black Girl Inspire Her. I am your host, Shaniqua Inspires, and man, I am, I am excited, but I know you all are saying, Shaniqua, you always excited, but today I'm really excited because I do have a special guest, and guess what? She bringing the Holy Spirit with her on today. So I know we're going to get some really, really good downloads and we're going to get this inspiration going. That is for everyone. We just so happen to be doing it from a Black girl's perspective. So without any further ado, let me bring up my sister friend, Dr. Tanya Blackwood. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey. Hey, how are you? I am blessed and highly favored. (laughs) You know what? We used to hear that saying growing up, but uh, when you really, really know God and you know you have a relationship with him, that just means Mm -hmm. so much. So now I know what the mothers were talking about when they used Mm -hmm. to say that. So I say welcome to you. Now, I know a little bit about you, but I need my audience to get to know who you are. So please introduce yourself to the people. Hello, people. Hello, people. Listen, first, I want to say thank you for having me on the platform, She, Thank you so much. She is such a blessing to provide this platform. I want to let you guys know that we really appreciate you making it a priority to come and share this time with us. And please, please, please just share this broadcast with all your sister friends because we're, you know, you just never know especially shout out to the strong girls. You just never know who's going through that needs a little pinch of love and inspiration and power. Mm -hmm. And because they're strong, sometimes they don't ask. So Mm -hmm. that's kind of where I come from. I'm the oldest of six. My parents are from Panama um, and originally well, we could go all the way back, but let's just say the stops that they stopped at were Jamaica and Spain before they hit Panama and then the U.S. So I got a lot of spice mixed in to who yes, I am. Yes, a little good spice. And, um, <laughs> yes, I, and I always carry it with me. But being the oldest mm-hmm. female of six kids, um, first generation American, that in itself, that little mix up right there carries a lot of stuff with it. Some of you guys may be able to relate to it, but then when you, when life happens, when Mm -hmm. you are diagnosed with a tumor at 19 and um, you have to kind of figure out how you're going to work through that. uh, Actually, they don't want to touch it. Hopkins is scared Mm -hmm. of it. So they don't mess with it until I moved to Chicago and then they go in, oh yeah, we'll take that out only for it to come back a year later, followed by, uh, who I'm giving y'all little snapshots. Okay. So you could get just a bit of the picture, but followed Mm -hmm. by everybody. Remember that crash? She, I know you remember that crash in 2008 when everybody kind of lost everything. I was Mm -hmm. with my own business at the time, marketing firm on, um, Charles Street in Baltimore, uh, Mm -hmm. traveling the world, doing events for companies and nonprofits. I was basically their, their CMO and every, the fall, the the floor fell out. Um, Mm -hmm. and I lost everything. And back then I decided that it was on me and I carried Mm -hmm. that until my therapist helped me realize, hello, Mm -hmm. you have a coach in a, and you're not, and you don't, if you are a coach and you don't have a coach, there's mm-hmm. a problem, right? Yeah. But um, my therapist, because I was blessed and smart enough to have mentors that send me in that direction, told yes. me, honey, no, stop. It's not on you. Get back with your father. Start walking like you're supposed to, right? Um and, and I may be a little bit out of order, but I'll tell you what happened after I lost that company. I was diagnosed with uh, two brain aneurysms. They found one mm. and then looking at one, they located the mm. other one. 
And Mm -hmm. it was then that everything just, I was sitting in depression and I got that diagnosis on top of it. So then I rise was born because I was so just, honestly, I was distraught. Mm I'm like, what in the yeah. world? And why is the, why is the enemy coming from my head every time he does come? What is going on, mm-hmm. right? Um, when God just, I was sitting at the edge of the bed in pain, recovering from the brain surgery that God saw fit to bring me out of. And um, mm-hmm. he said, I need you to get up. You obviously forgot mm-hmm. who you are and who you are. I need you to rise now. Yes. There's some things I want to give you to give others, but you can't do it unless you get up. So that's where you see that behind me. That's where then I rise came from Mm because I had to rise from that craziness. I I had Mm to find my power in myself again, you know, Mm -hmm. and that is a daily thing to hold on to, to swing your feet over the side of the bed and say, you know what? I'm going to fight today. Holy spirit. What is it that you have? I asked him this morning, how's this day going to go? What do you want me to do? Um, and we lose that. We get crazy thinking that we run and stuff and Mm. it's going to go how (laughs) we say, come on, somebody It's you know, we in charge. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Imagine, you know, like like the wheel, please. But, um, I I recovered, praise God, from that surgery and took time to heal and then came back to the East Coast. Um, Actually, a church leader came out West. I was with my sister. She opened her home to me to to heal and recover. And that's where I found, when I found out all that I found out. Um, And I came back this way um, under the tutelage of a leader and things just started to change for me. You know, my mm-hmm. relationship changed. I started to tune in more. Um, but the reason I said that it's an everyday decision is because we can fall back into the cycle. Sure can. You know, and mm-hmm. you can fall back in. And just recently, I would say um, towards maybe around the end of the third quarter of last year, Mm -hmm. God was just saying, because I I was everything. I was everything in the means of that I was all over the place. I was Mm -hmm. so visible. And you hear all these folks talking about visibility, visibility, visibility. But how important is visibility in, in relation to how visible are you to him. Yeah. Are yeah. you showing up for God? Amen. Right? So this coach, I'm a coach in confidence and business strategy. This life coach, this author, five-time best-selling author, yes. this trainer, yes. this talent acquisition executive um had to take a break. Yeah. I had to yeah. pause. God told me to yeah. sit your butt down, right? I love that. I love that. And and right there, I want to focus us because I know that there are some people who are watching and you've, you've said a lot, you gave us a lot in there. And a lot of people are relating to, you know, little bits and pieces that you're, you're saying first starting out by saying you were the eldest. And I think sometimes either if you're the eldest child or you wear that hat, right? So sometimes you're not the oldest one, but you may be the more responsible one. You may be the one that people look to when there's a problem or situation that needs to be handled. So, you know, you got some people who are relating to that to say, "Mm mm-hmm, that sounds, sounds about right. And I think when you carry that authority, it actually manifests itself in every areas of your life. So when you're at the, at job, at your job, you start to uh, let that be your, your, your portion by saying, you know what, I'm going to take charge of this. And you just do things innately. Yes. And then it mm-hmm. does get to the point where you're the one who thinks you're in charge. 
right? You literally are walking around like you are the one who is making the, the world revolve. And if you don't yeah. get up and if you don't right. show up, that 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 earth is going to be off its axis, right? <laughs> yes, yes. So I want to talk specifically to those individuals who just have this heavy, it is a heavy mantle to carry when you are the one who is the mover and shaker. You're the one who is the doer. Um, I want to talk to those people, those people who are doing a little bit of everything. And by people, you guys know I'm talking about me. OK, so she, she get ready to talk. She get ready to talk to me and I'm going to let y'all, you know, listen in. Right. Because I have grown to be that person where I'm doing a multitude of different things. Right. Have multiple yes. companies that I'm running, but I need a word. I need a word. And um, mm -hmm. when you concluded what you were saying, you hit on a powerful word that I don't want my viewers to miss. And that word was pause. So mm -hmm. Dr. Tanya, tell us a little bit about the power of pause. Who, and I'm so mm -hmm. glad you said it like that. I'm so glad you mm -hmm. said it like that because there is so much power in pause. Yeah. There is so much power in it. First, what I want to do is just share a basic definition because I want us to kind of sit in that just for mm -hmm. a second. The definition is not long. It's really, really short and simple. A pause in its noun form means a temporary stop in action or speech. Mm -hmm. So so for me, it was both because as I said, when I used the word everything, I meant I was everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. And I wasn't where in God's mm -hmm. mind, I wasn't where I was supposed to be enough. I was mm -hmm, everywhere mm -hmm. else. Right. Yeah. So that's why I believe he began tugging on me and I had yeah. to make a temporary stop. Now, whether here's the thing, when you are that person that you just described, when mm -hmm. you're that person, your concern can be, well, what will they say if I just disappear? Well, I have to plan that. I can't just fall off because consistency mm -hmm. is so important. All the, yeah. you know, and guess what? When it comes down to it, that's not all that important. Yeah. And half the people important. are probably not even going to recognize it, right? Like if you take a pause from social yes. media, uh, it'll probably be a couple of weeks before somebody inbox you and be like, hey, you OK? But chances yes. are everybody, the world is still revolving. People are going about their day to day life. So I feel like we put on um, we, we, we carry so that. We empathy. walk in that thinking yes. that people are going to going to miss us. I mean, we want people to miss us. Sure. But if you take a pause, like you said, sometimes it may go unnoticed. Like it's not as big of a yes. deal as we make it to be. As we make it to be, that is mm -hmm. it. That's it right there. It's so, mm -hmm. I mean, and and even if we go, let, let's, for a second, let's go to the word, right? Let's yes. talk about, and I, and I won't even give you a specific scripture. I, I'm, I just want to meet the people who, you know, they may not know the Bible like, like that, but they right. know the characters in the Bible, right? Everybody mm -hmm. knows David, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody knows how much... David loved God and how much God loved David, right? Yeah. David took a pause, right? Well, we know Jesus took a pause yes. in his journey, but David paused and poured his heart out to God when he was in pain. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm going to be transparent. That's where I was because I was looking for answers and things. You know, sometimes things just don't fall in your life the way you expect them to. Or you're going through, you get a, a, a diagnosis out of somewhere, out of nowhere, mm -hmm. or your family member is sick. Just life happens, right? So you just imagine David pouring his heart out to God in agony. And then what did he do after that? He paused in his mm -hmm. presence. And that's what we forget to do. So we'll cry out and then we just keep it moving. Right. Well, God will catch up with me or he'll he'll fix it. You know, he heard me. Yeah. I, I let him know what was going on. That's the least I could do. I, I told him about yeah. 
No, baby girl, sit down for a minute. Mm-hmm. You know, come in his presence. You cry out. Sometimes I didn't even have but the strength to say, Jesus, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Right? It's It's been a journey for a lot of folks, mm-hmm. even coming out of COVID. Yes. So, you know, you find, you try to find the strength, but sometimes it's just a whisper to say his name. And then, mm-hmm. shh. He doesn't do, he doesn't, he's not going to fight through your noise. Mm. He's not going to fight your noise. No. He needs to know there's space for him. And if you don't make that space for him, then how is he going to come and show you? How's he going to whisper? I'm sharing a book in a book club right now with one of my mentors. And it talks about God winks. How are you going to give him an opportunity to wink at you and let you know, baby, I'm right here. If mm-hmm. you don't stop moving, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you got to pause for a minute, right? Yeah. So take that temporary, it's not for long. It's a temporary yeah. stop or an interruption. Amen. And if it's-, it's like we get so busy doing stuff. We're we're so busy and we're doing the things of God. And that's, what's the funny thing about it. We're doing the things of God, but in addition to doing the things of God, we are doing the things of us. We are doing the things of other people and it's just Mm -hmm. a lot going on. So where we should be focused and dedicated and totally committed to doing the things of God, we're we're doing it just so that we can say, well, I'm I'm getting it done, but we only putting a toe in there, you know, but because we got some other toes in in other pots and other other things that we're doing so it's not we're not wholeheartedly giving and doing and functioning and growing and being what god wants us to to learn and to gain from that moment because we're just so busy doing everything else and and listen we think we're getting brownie points we think we're getting brownie points because we are doing what god told us to do but he's like but did i tell you to do that 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 and that so uh um, oh, you know he's like kudos you hit it right kudos. on the nose girl yes. yeah come on with it come on with it right you, so you it right so we gotta nose. get in order tell us come on mm-hmm. bring it with us well one of what the things got? that i have i have on my mirror that i sit up and I look at it every day and it is Mm -hmm. a reminder to me along with a few other things I have up there that I have to read to, to bring back, to keep me square. But the line says without alignment, you bind God's hands. Mm -hmm. So if you are out of alignment, he can't come through for you. And if that means you need to take a step back, Mm, so that God good. can reposition you, then you te- you have to stop moving in order to do that. Yes. So don't let nobody feel make you feel bad that you are mm-hmm. reassessing the best, the highest paid, the most established people on this earth. Tell it. Do strategic planning, and guess what? Mm-hmm. When they're doing that, they're not moving. They're looking forward, they're planning. Most people do the planning for the new year right around September, October. They're planning for the following year, right? You have Mm -hmm. to stop to do that. You've got Mm -hmm. to pause, right? And make sure that you are listening for him in in the assignment that he's given you. And I'm going to do a shout out to all the type A And I know there's a few of us, although we don't say it much, but I am a left brain, right brain. I I am both sides. And that's why I I love my my former co-host for a rise and shine for my podcast. Benicia Wyatt is an amazing coach. And so she would coach me sometimes as my, as my Mm -hmm. G friend, as well as my co-host, Okay, so wait a minute. Come on, Miss Miss Dreamer. God just gave you this. Wait, hold on. Mm-hmm. Slow down a minute. How is that going to play out, right? Yeah. And and you get frustrated with people like that sometimes, but they are so on point. Yes. So yes. You roll, boo boo. I know you yeah. are creative. I know you're inspired mm-hmm. by God, but 
you know, simmer down for a minute is what I would say to my nephew. Simmer, simmer down. Let it marinate. Let it marinate. Yeah. <laughs> and let God talk to you about what he really meant yes. for you to do. Like you just said it, you do this. And then he's like, but I ain't tell you to do that. In yeah. your mind, yeah. you're like, but it goes with the other thing. So I'm yeah. going to do it. And then you're yeah. exhausted in three months yeah. and you're so mm -hmm. off course because you just went crazy. Crop, crop, crap, crazy doing yes. stuff. Love so, it, love it. Now, now, Tanya, I need you to, I need you to talk about that type A personality because I see some people, you know, I, I can, I can pick them up in the spirit because they, they not identifying it. So, so let them know what those type A people like. Talk a little bit about that. Teach them a little bit so that they know it's them because they trying to act like well, she's yeah. not talking to me. No, she's talking to you. <laughs> I'm talking to you, definitely talking to you because I mm -hmm. am you, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, and you can say you're recovering type A, but you know what? You go, you type A, you type A. You, you, you're constantly multitasking. You're mm -hmm. driven, whether it's internal or external, to be competitive at all times. And you're full of ambition, right? You, yes. Anything that's mm -hmm. not according to your plan is an absolute waste of time. You Woo! have no patience. And if somebody holds you up, you are so irritated. But let me tell you, you are goal focused, maybe yes. not detail oriented. But once mm. you decide that you have a goal, that's it. You, you, you like Laser targeted in on that goal, right? Yes. And you're going to spend as much time as you possibly can to bring that goal to fruition. Now, that's a lot of good stuff. But here's some of the stuff that's not so good. Mm. In the process of doing that, self-care goes out the window. And so you go to the doctor one day and find out you have high blood pressure, diabetes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, you need to go on all these medications and we think you may need surgery. But wh why? Because I skipped meals and I didn't maybe drink one cup of water a day because I was so focused on my business. My kids are irritable at school and they're getting bad grades and they barely know me, you know, because I'm so focused. So there's got to be some kind of balance mm -hmm. when you're dealing mm -hmm. with all these traits and the negative mm -hmm. behaviors that can result from them. There's some great behaviors and some great results but yeah. we need balance. Yes. That's yes. the alignment yes. we were talking about. And and I like that. Some people, you know, they don't really like that word balance because it's like how, you know, in all honesty in life, like we shouldn't always focus equal amounts of energy and equal amounts of time on you know, everything, like it's impossible yeah. to do that. You're, you're almost like in a three wing circus trying to um, do that balancing act. But the key word that you said is alignment. So mm -hmm. talk to us about how that pause helps us to get ourselves in alignment. It's going to sound corny, Shaniqua. It's going it, to, I mean, it's going to sound corny, but I'm going to tell you, when I slowed down and I was able, I was able to hear his voice better. Mm -hmm. To me, everything mm -hmm. feeds off of that platform because it's then it's how I receive people because my spirit gets calmer mm -hmm. and I'm able to deal with things. I've never been yeah. big only because I come from a big family that I'm not, um, I'm not a reactor. I'm a responder. That mm -hmm. is something that may irritate some people because mm -hmm. I actually, and you could actually see it on my face sometimes. If I'm watching somebody re react to something, I have the coach face. It's like, oh, wow, she ain't really processed that. She's got some trauma she ain't dealing with. Why <laughs> yes. is she acting like that? Why? Yes. Those open so, wounds. Yeah. You, could just, you could just smell yeah. those open wounds. You're like, girl, you need yeah. to sit down. <laughs> You bleeding right. all over and, everybody. <laughs> oh, that's it right there. And yeah. you know, you have to take that time to get you have to get with him. Yes. 
to get your peace so that you're able to balance. Because if you start to recognize and feel, you it will come, it will become obvious to you. You will be what we say. You will feel convicted when you're moving out of alignment. <laughs> Once you establish- But if you're so busy, you're not even going to feel it. You won't get the message. You don't get the memo when you're so busy. So I really love that. I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you just, you're trucking, you're trucking, you're trucking. And guess what? Um, some people may not like the way I say this, but I'm going to tell you, God will take you and slam you up against the wall. And they say, oh, the, the enemy, the enemy, uh-uh. It ain't mm -hmm. always the enemy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You running helter skelter, you thinking you're going to be the next Warren Buffett. You got yes. it all under control. Guess what? He will lay you up in the hospital on an IV and yes. let you know who's in charge. Hmm. And one the enemy. You just an unruly, disobedient, thinking you running it all individual. Yeah. I said, yes. sit down, say it the Lord. Listen, listen. So, and you know what that reminds me of? Um, Lucifer, right? You know, oh. Lucifer was was the minister of, of music. He was doing a thing. He music, got the praise. Right? He loved praise. But then he wanted that praise to be for him. He got uh -huh. cast out. Now, how gracious uh -huh. is God to us when we are out of alignment, when we are out of order, he will offer at first, he'll do something gentle. Then if you're not listening, like a, like a disobedient child, if you're not listening to him, yeah, he may have to do something really, really drastic, but here we go, throwing it over to the enemy. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. God, that is God. <laughs> that is by the hand that. of God. And you lucky, you lucky he's giving you an opportunity to get yourself in order before he casts yes. you out. Right. So, right. yeah, come on, people, get yep. in alignment yep. before Just before you God, get thrown I mean, out. God, that's <laughs> you need right. a second to get we thrown out. Get thrown out. <laughs> you don't want to be the second to get, get thrown out. out. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. <laughs> and and God said, you know, you God is the one that said you could do what you want to Job, right? Mm -hmm. Up to a point. So he he knows what's going on. He mm -hmm. knows what's going on, and. Yeah. Do you know what's going on? <laughs> Are you no, plugged in enough busy. to know what's going on? Yeah. yeah. And we, yeah. we, we got to get yeah. rid of that whole, that whole busy mentality, but busy doing what? And you and I talked in the green room a little bit about mm -hmm. before the show, love the green room conversation and yes, um, <laughs> about, you know, ROI. Mm -hmm. And you, you're mm -hmm. running in 50 different directions. And one of my coaches um, she's truly a mentor in my life. And she said, <laughs> she said, what do you have to show for all that? Mm. What, 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 what do you have to show? You know, yeah. so actually, yeah. I mean, she, she got me humble. Right. Um, and most people know me as humble, but she took it another step. Like what I, revenue generating activity, how much of this mm -hmm. busy that you're doing mm -hmm. is generating mm -hmm. revenue and bringing balance and peace to your life. How much? Let's talk about that next week. Yep. yep. Talk about that for yep. homework assignment. Mm -hmm. Right. So I had to come back with a list of, okay, what's really generating revenue? What's bringing me balance and peace? Mm -hmm. Wow. And yep. then let's talk about how short that list really is. Mm -hmm. and what changes you need to make to your life to get that where it should be, where God would be proud that you're walking in your assignment and that you're living the abundance that he, that he, that he has for you. And yes. if you're not in a constant yes. quest for that, um, under the assignment that he's given you, then what are you really doing? So the, mm -hmm. these are some of the questions that I've been marinating in during my pause, you know, and I'm just now tipping back into social media, just tipping a little, um, mm -hmm. launching, I'm working on a couple of book projects and, um, getting ready to put my store back online. Um, nice. he started me in this little hobby while I was just chilling with him a little bit and I started making candles and now people are smelling them and wanting them. So I got to put that up and, but just the peace 
he gave me the word for the new year. I know you do a word every year too, but he gave uh-huh, me uh-huh. flourish. He gave me flourish for this year. And I was like, oh, well, what's that about? And he said, and, and even if you look it up, it because we're all still developing and growing. And if you feel like you've arrived, then something's wrong, right? Mm-hmm. Um, flourish is to grow or develop in a healthy way. Mm-hmm. And if you're not flourishing, then what's the opposite of that? Yeah. You're stagnant, you're dying, right? Yes. So the definition is growing in a healthy or even a vigorous way. And it's all dependent on the environment that you're in. So for me, it's about flourishing in God's presence this year and every year Mm. going forward. Yeah. And just being honest with myself, asking myself the tough questions and then pausing to sit in it. Don't be afraid of the silence. Don't be afraid of the pause. You'll find out some amazing stuff about you when nobody's saying anything. Yeah. So that's kind of where I am right now. Yeah. I love the pause. I love the pause. And from time to time, you know, I do like to take a pause and we can pause from a a numerous amount of things. We can pause from social activities. We can pause from food, like fasting, right? It's fasting. It's the principle of fasting. What can you, you do without in order to gain more of, Uh, maybe it's social media, maybe it's, it's, you know, watching something on TV, you know, maybe, you know, I had this, this fetish um, and every now and again, I I developed this fetish at one time it was Grey's Anatomy where I started from season one. I think I stopped it around about season 17. Then I was on law and order. I was recently on law and order started from season one. (laughs) And I think I landed right around season 19 or so. It's like, girl, like how much time are you wasting watching Mm -hmm. hours worth of television and then we're so concerned that we're so busy and we don't have any time we do have time but we've chosen to allocate the time to something like you said dr tanya that does not lead to a return on our investment roi so what you're putting your time your effort your money your energy into should generate a profit, right? That is the reaping and sowing principle. So if you are sowing seeds in law and order, right? You're sowing (laughs) seeds of time and watching law and order. What are you gaining from it? Am I, am I getting a degree in forensic science? Am I going to be a police detective? Uh, If not, then what am I really gaining from it other than wasted time? So I, I, I love that conversation and I really want people to do an inventory, to do a self-check like Dr. Tanya is telling us, do an analysis to say, what is it that I'm doing? And is it going to give me a return on my investment? So if I'm sowing energy in, am I going to get energy out? Or am I going to get something out of it? Right? May not necessarily be energy. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, teach us a little bit. I'm glad you said that because it's, People hear ROI, right? And all the training mm-hmm. and things, they think money right away, right? Yeah, yeah. Return on investment. And yes, that 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 is a factor. If you're putting, especially if you're putting your money into things, Absolutely. money that you sweat mm-hmm. for, you should be getting a return on your investment money-wise, mm-hmm. most definitely. And and you know, check check the contract if it's taking too long. You're allowed to question mm. that, right? But there's other ways to get a return. And you said one of them, which is energy. And that's huge, especially to the mommies out there who are holding it down with their kids as Mm -hmm. well as a career. And then they have the nerve to have a side hustle and they may want to have a hobby or two. Right, right. So yeah, you need to get a return. You, this is Inspire, right? You are worth 
every second of every day back to you in some way. You are mm -hmm. worthy of that. So if you are passionate about something and you pour into it, if it doesn't pour back, sis, move on. Yeah. So if it if it's, you know, a workout, of course the ROI is better health. Clarity of mind. And I'm learning as, you know, 50 plus that those workouts are critical mm -hmm. to you being healthy mentally as well. Because, you know, dealing with anxiety, the many years that I had, dealing with anxiety, mild depression, exercise mm -hmm. is critical. It's science. Yes. It combats yep. it. it. It it crushes it. So mm -hmm. whatever you pour into, make sure that it's pouring back and make sure that your network and I call it, you know, your, your, your power circle, your sister yes. circle, that they are pouring into you. If you are the smartest mm -hmm. one, you've heard this in the yep. room, you need to change rooms. Mm -hmm. You need to, God has removed some folks from my circle Absolutely. in the past six months and I, and, and even adjusted some relationships and, and mm -hmm. some of them, it hurt. You know, yeah. I'm like, but why yeah. father God, why is there, I'm seeing a difference there that wasn't before. And I, I don't mm -hmm. understand that she was so special to me. What is going on? Yeah. He's yeah. making moves. He is yeah. aligning you and you have to be free to do that so that you can get the return that he wants you to get. Absolutely. So yeah, it, it, it all ties together, but the return is not just money. It's energy. Yeah. It's time. It's health. Um, it's peace. It, it's, it's, <laughs> yes. yes. It's peace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love it. This, I love this conversation. I just got to tell you, yeah. I'm so glad I said yeah. yes. This is amazing. Yes. And I thank you. I thank you so much for your yes. Listen, um, I know we, we have been going, and we can literally go on and on and on, but tell the people about your podcast. I believe it's going to start back really soon or it should be started yeah. back by now. Yes. Yes. There you go. Yep. We're kicking it off um, at the end of this month. The woman's history month will be coming back and uh, I'm not giving you no deets. That's all I'm giving you. But uh, <laughs> that's going to be a great show. We have a YouTube channel, so please go and subscribe so you'll know when we come back live. We've been on a break because I've been on a break. Had to pause. Um, had to pause. Exactly. Yeah, apologetically, <laughs> right? Um, but we are super excited about the new season and the people that we're going to bring. Stories of Triumph is simply that. It's, it's, it's a podcast that talks to folks about you know, having the power to get back up, um, mm -hmm. not allowing life to sit you down to a point where you you can't move, you you won't move. But what you've done with that get up is a testimony in itself. You know, we've had guests that um, it's health issues. We've had guests that um, were, it's grief issues. Uh, Arise and Shine, the, the anthology project that I did was birthed out of the show and mm -hmm. all of the stories that people have shared, the ability to rise up and then live empowered after that rise yes. is, is what it's all about. And, and that was that, you know, God wants you to tell your story. So mm -hmm. I'm excited. I'm excited to have you join us. Yes, I look forward to it. Yes, I look forward to it because you know what? It is so important that, um, you know, we band together. They always say that women can't work together. We can't grow together. Mm -hmm. And that's a lie. That is such a lie mm -hmm. because when we're all confident in what it is that we do, there is no competition. I'm great at being right. Shaniqua. Um, God is yeah. building me to be Shaniqua inspires. You're great at being Dr. Tanya Blackwood. Like that's who you are. I can't be who you are, right? You can't that's be who I am. We can do things that complement 
We compliment one another so that we can be in a room. And, and as they, and my, my favorite is iron shoppings iron, right? So yes. if someone has a gifting, um, get that, get your gift and sharpen by being around these people. So again, Dr. Tanya, I thank you so much for joining oh, us so here fun. on the black girl inspires. Uh, listen, everyone, I want you to make certain you check out the information in the description box so that you can get uh, information about the book project, uh, the podcast and everything else. If you want some of them candles she's making now, you can check <laughs> out that information and get you some. So listen, everyone, it has been a great time had by all. I love that. It's a great time and we are definitely feeling more inspired. So I say to each and every one of you, go forward with this, this fire, this light, that we received on this evening and make certain that you use it for the greater good. And if you have to take a pause, take a pause. So again, I am Shaniqua Inspires and you are watching the Black Girl Inspire Her. While you're here on my YouTube page, make certain you check out the other series, The Black Girl Encourage Her, The Black Girl Motivate Her. And don't forget, I got my Sisterly Sundays podcast on here as well. So until next time, you all be blessed and have a great rest of your evening.